Man, what up? Your boy Infamous Tex over here in the north side, man, at Diamond Cuts Barbershop, doing our first set of interviews for 2024, man. It was an amazing year for my boy Bobby J. Bobby J. Photography. Let, let him know exactly, bro, to tell him exactly uh, the name and a uh, familiar face around Hustletown and around the music industry here in, yeah, in, in Houston and really a lot of other places. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Bobby J., the photographer, man, been in the game going on 12 years now. So, man, uh, you know, it's about that time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we just here, man, showing love to you, especially. You know, I see you everywhere. Love the work that you do for the city. So saw this and I was like, yeah, I need to go, you know, and talk to my boy. I think this is going to be our first real conversation with each other. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we see each other a lot, uh, uh, not, not just at the station, but I've seen you just about everywhere I go. That's how you know that you're a hustler, you're networking everywhere, the one of the most important things. Um, and then not only that, but you ended the year 2023 off like really big, some big things was going on with you. Talk, talk about some of those awards too. Uh, uh, best photographer too yeah. in the city. Uh, I just saw you at the, the BH Awards. Um, uh, here recently too, also at the, the uh, birthday wedding cake foundation. Yeah. Talk about all those accolades, <laughs> man. Talk your I shit. I mean, you know, we we work together on a lot of projects together, man. Um, we heavy into the media. Um, I own my own media company, so uh, every time it's somebody big in the city, I was at the Lotto last night, you know. So yeah. stuff like that, man. It's just like anything that has to do with uh, the city of Houston. Um, since I just got so much credit, we cool, we network. A lot of people call us for stuff. Um, on top of the awards, this is my fifth award winning in Houston, you know, I just make sure, um, man, we're just hustling, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It just don't stop. So this is another year of us not sh slowing down. Every time in this award show, the city go and vote, you know, I definitely appreciate that. And we just always try to give back to the city by doing stuff like this. So. Man, the vo their voices are heard out there, man, because a lot of people are rocking with you. Like I said, you've built a lot of connections. Yeah. Uh, already 11, 12 years already just yeah. doing this right here, too. Mm -hmm. uh, who's that one person that you've been around or got to work with that you're like damn i can't believe i'm here right now with this person right here because i know you've been seeing a lot of celebrities yeah who's some of the people that you that that you've had that moment where it's like damn this is a, a milestone for me uh i went to chicago when i was uh a part of uh hip-hop weekly mm -hmm. and they had flew me out for a mick mills and jeezy concert and i thought it was gonna be on some okay. hollywood stuff but man it was one of the coolest when you sit there and look at these rappers and see how they can do this in front of 20,000 people and you on stage as a cameraman getting shy and nervous. You know what I'm saying? Right. So imagine what some of these artists got to go through. It's a lot of people, man, and I just couldn't believe I was at that epic moment. You be one of the only media outlets allowed on stage looking at so many people shooting McMills like, yeah. Not not as far as I am from this camera. So something like that was, was major and epic to me. So Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever dabble with music and, and get involved with music too at one time? Um, or or is it just pretty much been more on the creative side? No, but bef before I got into heavy into the media, um I used to do music producing and stuff like that. Um hmm. Uh, I, and I credit a lot of artists because it takes a lot of time and money and more money than anything. And that's what a yeah. lot of people didn't know. And honestly... I got into media because it wasn't working out for me as an artist, not because the music was good, because I didn't have the connect that I am today to help these artists out, just right. kind of how you are. So mm -hmm. I switched up and just became the plug to introduce the next person to this industry and help them out, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. when I was looking for an avenue or somebody to help me out, I couldn't find it. So I say, you know what, it's cool, you know, because sometimes people switch up and they become the hottest thing around, you know what I'm saying? Which is how how it happened for me. So I feel like we got a very similar story, man. I ain't gonna lie. And and, mm -hmm. and it's dope that you did that because we really need more people to be like that. Cause mm -hmm. I, I felt like we probably the same thing. You started as an artist like me, same thing. Mm -hmm. And opening the doors is definitely uh uh what we need more people doing that. We need more people to be, you know, even more producers, videographers, you know, cause mm -hmm. but a lot of people want to be the star and they don't want to give that part up. So the fact exactly. that you went that route mm -hmm. and uh and been like a dot connector in a way yep. too mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Um let's talk about 2023 versus 2024 because I know you got some big things cooking. I've already been seeing coming of stuff that you've been posting. Yeah. What what's some of those moves that you're the difference I guess between 2023 and 2024 right now for you? Um, we we elevating. You know, right. um, you bigger go. studios that we um just opened as as far as January the first, and we getting more into the productions because the pictures and videos and stuff is cool, but we trying to see how it is to really um 
you know, put some TV behind stuff, acting and building major sets that people can use for stock footage and stuff like that, learning green yeah. screen and stuff like that. So just elevation. And instead of focusing on me now, it's a whole camp of team of media that is looking for opportunities, like I said, and they don't get nobody like us that's going to call them and say, hey, do you want to go to the Lotto concert, this and that, you know? Right. Um, so just just looking for new interns, helping new interns out to learn the industry but never be Hollywood in this industry. So that's what I'm doing. Man, if you can give some advice to those that are just getting into the filming, because you know how it's kind of a learn-as-you-go thing with, when it comes to the videos and photography, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to frame rates and when it comes exactly. to all this stuff. What's some advice you would give to some of those people just coming in that are wanting to be uh, a dot connector like yourself, someone who, you know, even talking about the the networking and just, you know, keeping good. Uh, I'm going to let you just say it. I'm already starting to Yeah, say yeah, it. I got give you. Give them some game real um, quick. Networking is going to be your number one thing. Uh, don't always worry about the money. The money will come when you know how to network. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the people will connect the dots for you. Um, learn the industry you want to be in. Um, understand, number one, nothing's going to happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? It took me yeah. two years to pop, you know, and some people give up in three months, you know what I'm saying? So um, you have to just learn your craft, keep to it. If you believe in yourself, you will make it to which, wherever you want to go, you know, so. Yeah. All right. That's live. And so uh, this this power, well, tell me about this new tour coming up, right? This What is it, the power shoot? power shoot, power, power shoot. shoot, yeah, so. Okay. Uh, you teased it here recently. Go, give me the details on that. Can we talk a lot about it so far? Is this mm -hmm. stuff still be kind of cooked up, or what do you want? What so, you say about uh, what a power shoot is is where um, I'll get like top photographers of media in the city and put them all together in one room. And these are people that models can't wait to shoot with. Some of these artists can't wait to interview. Right. It's kind of like how we t how we take Hustle Town on the road. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So I'll announce that I'm going to Atlanta with certain top models in Houston. And then I'll hit up certain promoters that does like big shows, big events and stuff out there. And what happens is when I land, I check into an Airbnb and whatever models out there, whatever uh, artists that want to work and shoot and stuff, we'll do a power shoot. 20 four hours we up we huh. working so as soon as yeah. we check in at three we shooting at 12 in the morning one in the morning we only here for 24 48 hours right. like let's get it in we only want to sleep six hours in two days get back up and it's a power shoot like we in we out and we in the next city we're in miami vegas i'm in dallas in two weeks and i think we already have like 25 people who put a deposit down just to be a part of the power shoot so man that's how it goes it, it's going to be definitely going to more event coordinating also now with you on, especially tapping in all those different places right there. Yeah. So um, if they want to book you right now, you, you do a lot of your own booking also too, right? Oh, yeah, Everything. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I'm, I'm the main photographer in the camp. To shoot with me is different though. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different and it's a little bit more pricey. Or you can book somebody else on the team, a photographer, videographer, and stuff like that. But just know if I come out, like, we're going to turn up, we're going to have a good time, and we we definitely going to get to it, you know, so. Man. The head honcho. And, and it's dope because you're also getting into every aspect of it, whether, uh, you know, on the photography side, but also setting these, like these sets and these di different uh, the spots that you're building right here as far mm -hmm. as if they want to go shoot and all that. Talk about that that being a big thing right now because that's kind of what you – the smartest thing you can do right there is start to where you can get your own, like, people booking – you're through straight through you on your spots, right? Yeah, so um, you can go through the Instagram, the company is Studio for Houston, and mm -hmm. you can see all the new pictures and sets and stuff that we build. We got BDSM rooms. We got mm -hmm. just a flower room. We got the room for the children, the room for different, like, Chinese culture or something like that. We're just trying to cater to, I mean, everybody in the city. You want to go somewhere and it's a dope shower room or anything like that. We just build in all kind of different sets because for the past 10 years, I've just been doing white background, black background, blue background. And, right. you know, people just yeah. like, I don't want to shoot on no background no more. So we're doing different themes now. So stuff like that. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's definitely because, uh, you know, music, like I said earlier, uh, you release a single, you got to have a video to it, right? Yeah, so it's, it's the, the demand for that ain't going nowhere. If anything's going to be more and more, you know, so like I said, we need more. Uh, videographers, photographers to uh, to handle all these artists that are that are coming out. What's what's some artists that you hope to work with also one day that you're just like, man, the day I work with this dude right here, I'm gonna have to get a for sure get a picture or something, you know, because you know how we got that backstage etiquette. We know the do's and don'ts because of us being just in the industry. Who's that one person that you feel like, man, this if I come across this dude right, like with me, it's probably like Jay Z or or you know some of the legends, even Snoop. 
-hmm. who's some of those people to you that you're like, man, if I get to work around this person or even get opportunity to be their personal photographer, who's some of those people that would just blow your mind? Uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, you said Jay Z. That's rare. Mm. I did the Nikki, the Mick, the Meek, the Drakes. You know, from Hard Weekend and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's it's different because. When you ask rappers this, they haven't made it that far yet. But us being in media, we have kind of more access to that. So right. I've been around these people and probably interviewed them already. So Hell yeah, um, Jay Z, I I never met, I never did. Um, we just did Future concert and that was amazing to be backstage with them, Uzi for the first time and stuff like that. So it, it's kind of hard. A personal photographer though, I mean, I would love to just see what OVO is like. You know, saying <laughs> yeah. that hang around Drake and them all day. Um, cool dude, you know, quiet, and I like people that's about their business, you know, so that that's what I get from them. So, but, yeah, OVO is definitely a dream camp that I would love to be a part of. So. And the places that you're, that you're, you know, you're a part of, a lot of these venues, stuff like that, mm -hmm. you need your own reality show, too. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Like, to be that's honest, just following be the camera guys or the video guys, photographers around would be some good content. I ain't gonna lie, I watch the hell out of that. I mean, yeah. hell, we sit here and watch podcasts with just people talking. I mm -hmm. would watch the hell out of some of the stuff that you're doing, man. Talk about that, too, because I've heard a lot of people mention that yeah. to you before. Yeah. Is that something that you've thought about? Uh, doing? Maybe this year or sometime soon, yeah, because I still have footage that that bloggers will pay for, Shay right. Room and Ball Alert and that, and we just got that on standby you know what i'm saying like even when cardi b first came out here like her very first shows with 16 17 people and then i went again and it was like 40 people there mm -hmm. like stuff that's never been released yet that we could probably add to a documentary you know what i'm saying yeah um i was at south by southwest chasing french montana in the rain just to get an interview you know what i'm saying just for a vlog site so it's like stuff like that that we have to sacrifice to because we never know how big we're gonna be in the future to use some of that stuff, but that's just the right. hustle that comes for being a part of all this, you know. So, um, I'm I'm thinking about it, yeah, because people would love to see the lifestyle that we go to and the people that we interview. So, yeah, man, you got some big things cooking up, man. I already know you're gonna be cooking up 2024 all year. Mm -hmm. uh, one more time, drop the social media where they got to check out. They want to book you. They want to work with you. Where they got to go directly? Yeah, just go to B Photography 713 on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on Instagram more than, than my phone. Like, yeah, yeah. People, people be like, hey, I've been texting you and calling you. I'll be like, did you hit me up on Instagram, though? So, yeah, yeah. social media is crazy, man. It's changing. So, uh, yeah, man, hit me up. All my information is online, or you can just Google B Photography 713 and see everything you need to see as well. So. It is right there, man. My boy Bobby J, I appreciate you tapping in with me, man. man Happy New this. Year, too, Happy because New Year's, man. these are some of the first interviews we're doing right here in 2024, man. So I like to do this because, you know, we, we try to recap towards the end of the year also mm -hmm. and just seeing the growth and stuff. So I already yeah. know I'm going to see a whole bunch of fire yeah. on your Instagram. So y'all follow the follow the Instagram, uh, uh, the YouTube, anything like that, too, man. They need to uh, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, get fancy. My boy Bobby J. Yeah, man, we'll uh, get you right. We're going gotcha. gonna to get you right. Photos, videos, y'all, whatever y'all need. Um, we here for the city. Just how you doing this, man. Affordable rates. We try to keep it affordable. We're going to network more than anything, man. So, like, we literally here to help the city plug y'all in. And uh, number one advice I want to give y'all for 2024 is just travel, man. You know, get out of town. Some people have been in Houston for 20 years and never even seen San Antonio, Dallas, Atlanta, New York, anything. So, Travel, man. It's 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 cheap. It's affordable, man. And get your brand out there. You know, just travel. So there it is, right there, man. Boy, infamous text, man. Bobby J. B. Photography seven one three Instagram. All that right there, man. I appreciate you tapping in, man. And y'all follow my guy, man. We out.